Hello to all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video we will study about cloning of triggers in ADS. So when a pipeline is created in data factory and a trigger is attached to it. So in ADF we have three different types of trigger, scheduled trigger, event based trigger and tumbling window trigger. So in this example or in this video we will consider the scheduled trigger. So let's say there is a pipeline which is attached to a trigger and that pipeline is scheduled to run after every 10 minutes okay and now we want to have the same com configuration of that trigger and, and want it to execute after every 30 minutes then we can use the same trigger and in that trigger we can change the time so let's go here in the author menu and this is the pipeline pipeline test and there is no trigger attached to it so here is the icon add trigger we'll click on new edit and here we'll click on the plus new and we'll create a new trigger so this is a new trigger trigger one is the default name and we want it to start today and to recur it after every let's say five minutes for this demo we are doing it for five minutes start the trigger on creation is checked so it will start and we want to specify the end date let's say we are taking the date for tomorrow and we are clicking ok right make sure to publish for trigger to be activated ok and now we have this publish all so we'll publish the change here so that the trigger is published and our pipeline to which it is attached will be executed after every five minutes so publishing is in progress publishing completed so if we duplicate this tab and go to the manage section here under the author we have triggers so this is the trigger trigger one which we have created as a schedule type trigger and the status is started because we have check marked the start option okay now in this tri trigger section if you hover over this trigger it will show you the option to stop the trigger it will have the option of the json code if we click on the json code here we have the trigger details the name properties pipelines to which it is attached and then what type of trigger it is its recurrence frequency interval start and end time okay so we gave the interval of 5 and frequency was in minutes so 5 minutes start time and end time we gave by configuration okay so this is the JSON of the trigger now what we can do is we can simply copy the entire JSON copy to clipboard and then create a new trigger so click on plus new and this is let's say the trigger name as trigger new and we leave the other settings as default we we'll click ok trigger new will go and open the json code section and we will remove this and paste the configuration or the json code of the trigger one and here we will name this trigger as trigger new okay and we want to change the interval from 5 to 30 it is attached to pipeline test okay pipeline test is already attached to trigger 1 which was set to schedule run it in every 5 minutes now we have attached this pipeline test to this new trigger new which is scheduled to run after every 30 minutes so we'll click ok and we will publish the changes publishing completed and now we can see trigger new is created if we open the json it is trigger new after every 30 minutes attached to the pipeline test and now since the trigger new is created to schedule it after every 30 minutes we can delete the trigger one so we'll click on this delete button and we will delete it and then again publish the changes so 
So publishing is happening. It's completed. And now we have trigger new here. If we now go back to the pipeline and refresh this ADF page, And we'll click on this trigger and check the triggers attached to it. We can see now the trigger new. We are not seeing trigger one now here because it is deleted and trigger new is attached to it, which will make it scheduled to run after every 30 minutes. So this is a simple example where you need not change the entire configuration done to your triggers. You can simply copy the JSON, make a new trigger, paste it and the minor changes if you want to do, you can do it there. So this is just a demo example using the schedule trigger. So you can use this concept of cloning of triggers using the configuration of existing triggers and making minor changes in the new triggers for more complex scenarios, for more complex triggers like tumbling window trigger. Okay. So I hope it will be useful for you in creation of new triggers if you are planning to use the same configuration of your existing triggers. Thank you for watching the video. Happy learning. Bye.